Hello and welcome to A Book in Five Minutes. I'm Lindsay Milner. This week's book is called The Book You Wish Your Parents Had Read and then subtitled And Your Children Will Be Glad That You Did and it is written by Philippa Perry. So I, I was kind of a bit misled by this book. Um, I didn't get that it was properly about parenting Maybe I should have from the title, but I think what confused me, the testimonials say things like, this is a wonderful book, so wise and full of humanity. Well, that sounds like a kind of book I would read. Um, helpful for all relationships in life. Again, another thing that persuaded me. And a fascinating read on the emotional baggage we all carry. So again, you know, that kind of led me to think that it was useful for everybody. So I started reading it and discovered that it was in the main about parenting. Yes, I agree. The information is useful for all relationships in life, but it is predominantly about parenting. She starts off by telling us, uh, by getting us to look at the legacy of how we were parented. So it is focused on us as grown-ups at the beginning. Um, then there are chapters on um, your children's behaviour, the children's environment, um, communication, how you communicate with your children, um, and some things about mental health generally. There are a couple of things in there that um, stood out for me, things that I did particularly like, and that is, first of all, she talks about the importance of accepting um, your children's feelings and again this goes for everybody really you know accept how people feel you can't tell people how to feel or what they're feeling it's important to validate how people are feeling um, she says that if we practice distracting our children from you know when they're upset um, that's not helping them to deal with their feelings as they grow up the second thing that I liked is she talks about something that she calls bids for attention. Now, we're often sort of, oh, that child's attention seeking, as if that's a really bad thing. You know, that, that's a bad thing for the, that the child is that. It's some, um, some flaw in the child. Whereas, actually, we all crave attention. We all need our feelings validated. We all need to feel heard listened to, understood. So she talks about bids for attention and how you respond to those bids for attention from your children and, and also from other people in your life. How do you respond to those bids for attention? So I thought, but I kind of liked the phrase bids for attention. It kind of made me feel a bit differently about, you know, when somebody asks you something and you feel like, oh, I haven't got time for that right now. And, just recognise that they are making a bid for your attention. So I, I kind of liked that as a phrase. Um, she also says that it's important to accept your children as they are. If they know that they are loved as they are, that's what motivates them to improve and develop and grow. And again, this harks back to... Um, to Carl Rogers, the unconditional positive regard that we all need in order to become the best that you know we all need to become in Rogers's language to become whole, to become a whole person. So I kind of agree that the book is wise, uh, that there's a lot of wisdom in there about relationships generally, which I did like. I, I kind of agreed with most of the things that, that are in here. If not all, I can't actually think of something that made me think, well, no, that doesn't sound right. That being said, the book somehow didn't really set my world on fire. I think maybe it's because a lot of the concepts are not particularly new to me. A lot of them follow through with the, you know, the positive psychology programme. Um, so a lot of this is not new information for me. Maybe it's because I'm not actively parenting at the moment. I mean, I am a parent, but my children are grown up. So obviously the role that I play as a parent is very different now from when they were small. So I don't know, maybe those are the reasons that it didn't 
like really sort of set my world alight. I I do like it though, and I do think that if you're a parent and you're actively parenting at the moment, especially if you're having some difficulties in that, I mean we all know parenting and parenting well is not an easy job, then I think it absolutely is a hundred percent worth your time. It, it's worth reading and taking on board some of those ideas or as many of those ideas as you can. Um so yeah, who should read it? Probably anybody that's having a difficult time parenting, um, anybody that just wants to be better at parenting. Um, as it says in the testimonials, uh, it's helpful for all relationships in life. So even if you're not an active parent now, uh, or you know, not parenting small children, it still could be worth it if you're not very familiar with a lot of the positive psychology type concepts. So that is the book you wish your parents had read and your children will be glad that you did by Philippa Perry. That's this week's book in five minutes. Uh, let me know, have you read it? What do you think of it? Um, what are your thoughts on parenting? Um, and also if you want more content like this then please do subscribe to the channel. I will see you next time. Bye.